So I've got at least one request to do this comparison. We've got the new Tab S6 Lite 2022 edition, which seems to have come out of nowhere versus the Tab P11 Plus by Lenovo. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the price on the P11 Plus starts around $280 in the United States, but you can get the official keyboard and precision pin 2 included for around $350, which really isn't a bad deal. You're gonna get four or six gigabytes of RAM depending on which version you get. You can choose between 64 or 128 gigabytes of storage. But the new Tab S6 Lite starts at $350, but it's already been on sale for under $300. So pretty good prices for what you're getting, in my opinion. And if you follow Samsung products, you're going to notice they're always going on sale. So you rarely have to pay full price. The screen sizes are going to be slightly different here. You've got a 10.4 inch display on the Tab S6 Lite, 11 inch display on the P11 Plus, and they're both going to have the same 2000 by 1200 resolution. So both are going to be a pretty good size for most things like watching movies, playing games, just browsing online. Good thing is you can watch YouTube videos at upscaled 4K resolution, full HD playback resolution on apps like Netflix. But when you put them right next to each other, it's going to be pretty obvious which one has the better display. In fact, it doesn't really seem that close. Not sure if I just got a dud or something from Samsung. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how Lenovo is beating Samsung when it comes to the display, considering Samsung makes displays not only for themselves, but for other companies as well. Now, when it comes to the batteries, you're gonna get a larger battery in the Tab P11 Plus, but I actually got better battery life on the Tab S6 Lite during my battery drain test. We're talking six hours battery life for the P11 Plus versus seven and a half hours on the Tab S6 Lite. I mean, both are gonna be good enough to get you through a normal workday even longer if you turn the screen brightness down. But if you want the tablet with better battery life, you're gonna to wanna to go with the Tab S6 Lite 2022 edition. Now one category I feel like Samsung is winning right out of the box is going to be the software. The Tab S6 Lite is about one year newer than the P11 Plus, so of course it makes sense to have the newer Android 12 versus only Android 11 and the P11 Plus. I do sort of like things on both, maybe I lean slightly towards Samsung just because it feels a little more polished in some of the details. I mean just take how the icons look for example. Nice thing is you can use a split screen and do some multitasking. You've also got productivity mode on the P11 Plus, which is going to be somewhat similar to Samsung DeX. That's on the Tab S6 Lite. Maybe not quite as good though, but keep in mind, these are still considered more entry-level tablets. So as long as you're doing more basic stuff, you should be fine with either. And then I'm sure the P11 Plus is going to get Android 12 later this year. But overall, there's a few things that are different between the two. It may just come down to personal preference. When it comes to performance, you got a Snapdragon 720G processor in the new Tab S6 Lite, MediaTek Helio G90T processor in the P11 Plus. I've got the six gigabytes of RAM version of the P11 Plus, even though the Tab S6 Lite only has four gigabytes of RAM, the Geekbench scores are gonna still be a little bit better than the P11 Plus. Now they're not gonna feel drastically different between the two as far as performance goes or just moving around the software. And both seem to have pretty decent gaming performance as well. High frame rates, HD graphics on games like PUBG Mobile. Asphalt 9 plays fairly smooth on both. The only game that I tested that isn't going to look the best is going to be Apex Legends Mobile. But you have to remember, these are more affordable tablets that aren't going to be the fastest or most powerful, but I still think most people are going to be happy with either as far as performance and gaming goes. But if you want the tablet with better performance, maybe a little bit better gaming, you're going to want to go with the Tab S6 Lite. You'll notice you only get a headphone jack on the Tab S6 Lite, but both tablets have Dolby Atmos with two speakers on each side and actually sound really good for more affordable tablets. They're not going to be the best out there, but still pretty decent overall. Here's a quick sample of each just to give you an idea of what they sound like.
I know not everyone uses cameras on tablets, but I still like to show a comparison. You're gonna get a little bit higher resolution cameras on the P11 Plus uh, with 13 megapixel rear facing, eight megapixel front facing, compared to the S6 Lite, which has an eight megapixel rear facing, five megapixel front facing. You can also shoot up to 1080p, 30 frames per second for video recording on both tablets as well. I'll go ahead and give you a few samples of each just to give you an idea of what to expect. So hopefully this video gave you a little closer look at the new Tab S6 Lite 2022 edition versus the Tab P11 Plus by Lenovo. As you can see, there's quite a few similarities between the two, probably just a couple things that may sway you towards one or the other. But like I've said before, as long as Lenovo keeps improving on the software updates, I feel like this could be one company that competes with Samsung when it comes to Android tablets in the United States. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.